Hi guys, I welcome you to the second episode of Talking Tuesday with Tanya. In today's episode, we are going to talk about the salary and compensation for data analyst in Dubai. So, as I have mentioned earlier in the episode one, that the more you comment, it helps us to curate the content more better for you. So that's what we have did. Looking for your comments, your queries on LinkedIn, we have come up with the salary because this is the hot topic which you guys are really interested to know about. But before we get it straight into the episode, I would like to let you know that we are running a course, Namaste Dubai, which aims to give you a detailed explanation and like a kind of a thorough guidance throughout the process. So in case you are looking for an opportunity here in Dubai and just want it really quick, you guys can register for the course because just last 15, 20 days are left. We are starting the second batch in September first week. So yeah, that was pretty much about Namaste Dubai. And now let's talk about salary. So talking about the salary for data analyst, as you know from the previous video, what data analysts actually do. The role of a data analyst in a company is to process raw data. It helps you to understand like what aims, what insights you can try out of that data. So typically data analysts are someone who helps in decision driving process of the company. So their role is kind of a crucial, I guess, and I understand from this point of view. So you need to be aware of that. So this was pretty much about what data analysts do in a company. And now talking about the salary factors, like what are the factors which can impact the salary of a data analyst? First is their experience. Experience in any domain is very vital because it helps you understand like how to function in that particular domain. So that's why in case you're an experienced professional, you tend to earn more. In case you are very new, you have just passed out and you are looking for some internship, then your salary would differ. So this is one of the contributing factor. Talking about the factor two, which is education. Like what have you studied before you looked for? There are people who have done like BCom, BBA, and then they have tried to like do some courses and get into the domain of data analyst. While there are people who have done technical degrees and are coming into the domain of data analytics. And even there are people who have done MBAs or like master degrees or specializations specifically in the domain of data science and analytics those guys have different uh, have a different boundaries or like have a different area to deal with so different kind of education do impact like how your compensation will be so this is your second factor and talking about the third factor which is very important is about the company size and how well is the company doing and like company scope like is in the current scope of the company the how efficient is the data analyst scope like are they using data analysts like they're using analytics in their day-to-day -day developments it helps them so basically what kind of companies use data so companies which are like like very basic very raw companies won't be able to use data because they are very raw very new to the environment while the companies who have been like flourished for years they have massive tons of data and there are a lot of great projects you can work with while startup gives you a fast paced approach like you need to do everything quickly you just do one thing you just pull the data you send the data and then you have the next request so that's how it functions Startups have different pace of working while the sell well settled companies have a different pace. So this is or this like these are the pretty three factors which you need to consider before you start with your salary expectations or negotiations with the company. So I think now you are well versed with the role of data analytics and what are the contributing factors to it. Now let's talk about your favorite part like how much money you can expect. So I assume there would be three categories. Once you can be an entry level data analyst. Second, you can be a, like a mid to senior level, something like in between. And third would be like you will be having years of experience and you'll be senior into that domain. So the data analyst salary in Dubai ranges from approximately 4,500 to 32,000 dirhams per month. So yeah, it's the bracket is that huge. 
and why i said 4000 it starts from so there are certain people has a fresher who tend to do analytics like who tend to be into this profession of data analyst and they start their internship right so generally internships are paid less and you can take it approximately 3 to 4k something in that range but i assume you as a full time employee and then as an entry level what you can expect is something between 4500 to 8000 can be your starting range in the domain of data analytics what you can earn as soon as your experience your skill set develops and you just enter the second era you can expect so that becomes you like entry to mid senior level in that particular domain you can expect a salary of 9000 aed per month to 15 to 16000 aed per month that's the salary bracket where you can expect and then comes like your expertise domain like where you have like years of experience and you have like done great work in the past you have big projects on which you have worked you have consistent uh, like constant growth to showcase to your employers in that particular situation you earn a little more than obvious that 16000 to 24 25000 that becomes your bracket but i told you the end range is approximately around 30 to 32 so who are those guys who earn 30 to 32 so between the like they have all those factors like they are coming from like good institutes they have like coming from that particular background of data analytics then they have extreme exposure to the domain then they have done really good work in the past and they know how to highlight their skills they are communicate like their communication skills are really good they are able to express they are able to guide a team of 10 or 15 so those kind of people are paid insanely great and that becomes 32 to 35 something in between that range and then that's like the kind of salaries you can expect so i hope now this gives you a clear picture what to expect and what not to so being a fresher you expecting a salary of 20000 ad per month is completely false in my opinion because such things do not happen here in dubai for sure so these were the things which you should know while you ask your employer for compensation while there are other factors as well so other things what you need to consider while you negotiate with your employer so there are other benefits which you can of course consider like maybe a employer is ready to give you somewhere around 7000 8000 but they are giving you complete remote like complete work from home this is a good thing you can consider about or maybe they are having other perks other benefits or maybe flexible work timings or a lot of other stuff how the work life balance is there in a company these factors all together contribute because money is important but is money is not everything at the end of the world i'll say like you need some uh, like peace of mind as well at the end of the day so in case based on like how your current situation is how your current scenario is maybe at certain point of time in the career you might like like okay i'm ready to hustle i will earn i might work 12 hours a day i might work 15 hours a day and that's how you want to work but at the same time of the some part of the life you have a family to take care of you have your own health own your personal well being to look after in that particular case you'll be like okay some amount less but i get work from home i am able to look after my kids and this helps me earn more and be at a more satisfied place and other options are there for you in the market so to summarize this video i will say you have like a good a good salary bracket what you can expect as a data analyst in dubai and this is pretty much with the help of all the relevant facts and like numbers i have tried to bring like the clarity to your heads so that it's easier for you guys to make a decision whether you would like to move here to dubai or not or how you want to approach your interviews how you should negotiate and yeah that's pretty much about episode 2 where we talked about salaries stay tuned please not forget to like share and subscribe to our channel please understand the importance of your comments which make us more relevant to bring like whichever suits your need at the time so we try to curate that content for you guys so your inputs are highly appreciable and that's pretty much from our side we love you back bye bye take care good night